Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to recoup their lost Spotify millions in a new deal with a rival online audio giant, a close source has revealed. The Duke and Duchess's business advisors are in talks with Amazon-owned audiobook and podcast service Audible, whose roster of stars includes former President and First Lady Barack and Michelle Obama. At the same time, Meghan has been reaching out personally to A-list icons, including Pretty Woman actress Julia Roberts, in an effort to generate joint projects for a planned relaunch of her website The Tig, our source disclosed. The source said, Harry and Meghan are retooling, retrenching and preparing to change course in their efforts to establish themselves and their production company Archwell as serious players across multimedia platforms. Expect them to come out swinging in the new year. The royal couple's Hollywood dream, as well as their finances, took a massive hit in June when Spotify terminated their £16 million, $20 million, contract early amid acrimony over their paltry output of only a dozen podcasts. They were publicly branded as grifters by company chief Bill Simmons and Meghan was labeled not a great audio talent, or necessarily any kind of talent by United Talent Agency boss Jeremy Zimmer, despite the Acrimonious nature of the split, however, a spokesman for the Duke and Duchess insisted Meghan's ill-fated podcast would continue, cryptically adding, Meghan is continuing to develop more content for the archetype's audience on another platform. It now seems clear that the new platform will almost certainly be audible and our source confirmed that Meghan's new team at powerhouse LA talent agency WME is closely involved in talks. The couple already has strong ties to the subscription service, with Harry's incendiary memoir Spare, narrated by the Duke himself, currently being offered to listeners for free as part of a promotional deal. The couple already has strong ties to the subscription service, with Harry's incendiary memoir Spare, narrated by the Duke himself, currently being offered to listeners for free as part of a promotional deal. This was set up by his publisher Penguin Random House and Audible bosses are said to be delighted with the uptake from new customers and very interested in pursuing a long-term deal with the couple. Their erstwhile mentors the Obamas have reportedly struck a $30 million multi-year deal that guarantees audible first refusal on all their future book and podcast projects and our source confirmed, if agreement is reached with the Sussexes, it will be a deal structured in a very similar way. They would be obliged to offer any audio projects to audible first, but would then be completely free to market them elsewhere if rejected. It's the sort of deal some elite movie makers enjoy with major film studios. Importantly for Harry and Meghan, it would more than wipe out the monetary hit they took when Spotify pulled the plug and offered them a growing platform where Meghan can make good her vow to continue her podcast. The Duchess is also said to be reaching out to A list stars in a search for celebrity collaborators as she reportedly plans an imminent relaunch of the TIG in a bid to become a serious online influencer. According to a senior Hollywood production source who knows them both, Meghan's principal target is her personal icon Julia Roberts. Meghan has said the Oscar winner's performance in Pretty Woman inspired her own career and the source added, since Harry and Meghan arrived three years ago, Meghan's been making it a mission to befriend Julia. The admiration appears to be mutual, with Ms. Roberts, 55, gushing, I'm floating. During an interview when told Meghan was a huge fan.